Hello viewers, welcome to another exciting episode of the Awareness Show. I'm your regular host, Jonah Mafro, and I have sitting with me Andrea Nicole, my co-host, and Choma Silva, my other co-host. And with us, we have our guest co-host, she's Sister G from the Ghanaian community. And Sister G is a host at FM Unity, mm -hmm. yeah, something like yes. that, right. So viewers, we have an exciting topic for you today, and it's titled Gender Role. Yes. So to do this, to have this conversation, we're going to basically just take questions from the audience, and we have a bunch of list of questions that we're going to address, mm -hmm. and we're just going to go right at it, right? Mm -hmm. So the first question my viewers want to know is, do changing gender role have a negative impact or positive impact? This is an open discussion. What do you guys think? I do think it has. It has both. It has both. Yeah, yeah in what way? Could you speak more on that? And um, okay, right now things are changing. Okay, mm. women want to do more. Men want to stay as men. Okay, so they, <laughs> oh yes. What do you mean by that? Men want to okay. stay as men. They want to be in power, as we have been taught or teach from our generation yeah. or generation before, mm -hmm. you understand? So what we all learn is my dad has to go to work, bring money home and mommy stay home. Mm -hmm. go, take care of the kids. Please, take care of the kids, mm -hmm. whatever. Mm -hmm. Okay, now, I want that luxury life that you are living. She, as a man? No, as a woman. Man is not providing enough. I have to step up on my game by getting a job too, yeah. going to work and then still come home and take care of my house. Mm -hmm. But then when I come home, things have to be different. Because before I wasn't working and you were in charge. Now I'm working, taking care of myself. You're not going to be in charge of me if I have to do all this for myself. Hmm. You understand? <laughs> so men want to stay as men and women want to take charge of themselves, okay, to be independent at the same time. And it's making, it's bringing yes. both. There's no balance. balance. Yes. yes, yes, yes. Well, to, to be honest with you, I, 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 I see where, you, where you're coming yes. from, right? Whereby, if you are the one providing and I'm the housewife, yeah. then that, that's a that's different the rule, thing. Yeah. But if I'm the one not providing, you shouldn't get to stay the man in the house, still the one in charge, still the one bossing everyone around, still the one doing all the things that men do. So what you're saying is, I want to take the role of that's the man. It. No, not like you want to Because that's basically what, what, no, what it would no. be. Because not, you are not, not, necess not, necessarily. not necessarily. No. Not necessarily. No. Yeah. Okay. 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 For example, a man knows that he is in charge when it comes to decision making and providing for the house and everything. Okay. But now I'm also providing for the house. I want to make decision too. And men feel like when a woman is in, trying to tell me what to do, that means they are taking over me. You understand? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this basically, like you know. Like, what can I say? Um, most African men have mm. issue with this, okay? Because they don't want to give up or they don't, they don't want to share their, their power. Yeah. That's it. They don't want to share their position with women that, okay, hey, my wife said, okay, maybe if we buy that house, that neighborhood is better than where I want to go. You understand? Mm. They think they have to say yes and you have to follow. But if you really, really look at it from generation down, mm. men are just followers. If okay. I can I speak to something, yeah. please, Go Sister ahead. G. I'm, I'm listening to this conversation and I totally understand and I get it. But in terms of how I was raised, right? Yes. So my father went to work. Mm -hmm. My mom went to work. Yes. But in our household, it wasn't my mom just the emotional specialist who looked after the siblings or the my sibling. brother and my yes. my my brother, my sister. It was my mom and my dad. It was a joint. Um, partnership. Mm. So my dad combed my hair as well too, and he was every much a man. Wow. Um, he, uh, yeah, at times my mom, my dad, you know, my dad was there too. I remember when I, you know, you're changing and you have your period. My mom was at work, and my dad it was his day off, and he went and bought my first um, maxi pads or whatever it may be. So in terms of gender roles, like in our household, you know, my brother washed dishes as well too. He did the outside things as well too. Mm. Yeah, I did a little bit of the gardening, but um. You know, I didn't really see, okay, you're a woman, you're a female, do so this. this is your role. You're a man, you're a, ma fe a male, do this. Mm. It was like a joint partnership. Yeah, yeah I think, mm. and coming from, yeah, coming from what you, see, what you just said now, 
it's obvious that you grew up, you grew up in a house where they had the gender equality was there. Right. Was like, there. like yes. in my own house, it wasn't it wasn't the same. Mm -hmm. My father was the main. He's the provider. Man. He provides. My mother also provides. Yes. She also she also has a business that she's yes. running. She goes out yes. and she comes home at night. Right. But my father was the, like he was the soul. He was his word was yes and amen. That was it. Yeah. That's my dad. It was dad. the same However, way as well no, too. No, but as a child, I grew up knowing that. I didn't like it because I mm. had a younger brother mm -hmm. that they felt, I felt they didn't give him enough responsibilities mm. as they gave to me. Mm -hmm. So, and as a child, I, I felt I was rebellious. I was mm. like, oh no, why can't it be equal? Why can't I do the same thing he's doing? Why? I don't like that term of saying, oh, because she's a woman, she has to be in the kitchen. Right. Because she's oh, a, you, so I have you, to, I know. Okay, yeah. you, that statement as an African, that is going to give it I was be a big issue, but we will continue where we left off. We're going to take a short break. So, while you ask, don't go anywhere. This is an exciting topic. Gender role, of course, is going to be exciting. So, don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Welcome back. Before we went on break, we were discussing about gender role. Yes. And Andrea said that in her household, there was no gender role. It was basically equal. Mm -hmm. And Sylvia, you saying that in your household, it was strictly, the role was yeah. divided. Yeah, and my I, father was then, the man, and my mother. Yeah, but I, as a child, mm -hmm. I had an issue with it because I felt, as a girl, a female child, I felt I was doing more. I knew as a child that like even my dad used to say then he was like oh you came out as a girl that it would have been better coming out as a boy as a because boy. yes because i felt like there was so much i had more energy than most boys i i did things than most and when i feel that there was something they had to do and they say oh a boy and a girl is doing it i tend to walk out because i wanted to beat the boy just to prove to them that that thing a boy can do i will do better times too mm. so now as a as a married woman mm. I wouldn't want a case whereby somebody would tell my daughter, oh, well, because you're a girl, you have to do this. Right. Or tell my son because, so for me, everybody does, everybody do things equally. Right. Those mm -hmm. things I took as a kid and I didn't like, mm -hmm. I'm making changes to them right, right now. Right. So, yeah, so. Okay, so the second question is, are we prepared for this rapid change yes. in the culture? Are yes. We, are women more resistant these days? No, really. See, okay, we have a panel of four strong women. Mm -hmm. So I think women are we are we are also well, challenged. missing the picture. Yeah. When, when we say gender role, right? To me, what what how I want us to discuss it is not really whether we are embracing it, we are resisting it, or we're not. We're basically saying that it's shifting. Yes. It's shifting from men, women doing men's job, or mm. men doing women's job, and it's shifting not just. In, in Canada, because in North America, yeah. even in Africa, in, yeah, internationally, true, true, it's shifting. Where true. you see women taking on big roles, mm -hmm. roles that are known Very to, tough. Be, to be right. for men, yeah. and they're doing it, and they want and they to do, do well. it in and politics, they do well in, in all areas. But the, the, question my, the question that we are addressing is, are we ready for this big change? Or have we accepted this change? Do you think it's not a norm to us, or is it just a transition? That no, I think, I think we are ready. ready. Yeah, I think. I think we're already used to it. We yeah, are, I it's, think it's, it's normal yeah. already. And you're seeing it trickle down in yeah. all areas of our lives, whether it's and politics, medicine, whether it's just like um, daily jobs or whatever it may be. It's, mm. it's not like back in the 1700s or the 1800s. Like mm. back then, you, a woman wasn't even allowed to vote. True, mm. true, you know? true, true. Or even true. now they have women president. They have one in exactly, Germany, exactly. Germany, yeah. mm -hmm. and there's one in Africa. Africa, well. yes. Africa of all, a yeah. woman, a woman being president. <laughs> yeah, that's true. Oh, wow. So it, it, it's an evidence that we yeah. have. And as, as, time, as time continues, yeah. because the way we are now as mothers, we tend to, keep, I don't think we have gender, we have gender equality in our homes. Mm -hmm. With yeah. time, our kids too will grow up and they know it's normal. Mm -hmm. It won't be a big so, deal so anymore. Gee, you were saying that this is causing a big fight within the Ghanaian community. Okay. Why is that? And, and I don't think it's only no. in the Ghanaian community. It's, it's same an African goes to all African, 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 African yes. Yeah. Okay, before I answer that, the question you were asking, are we ready or oh, shish? My dear, we don't have a choice. This is how the life is going. And we yes. better for yeah. you. Like, no, you have to make it work for you and your family. Mm -hmm. Because what will work for her might not mm -hmm. work for me. Mm -hmm. What will work for you might not work for her. Mm -hmm. That's true. So you have to follow the, the principle that will work for you 
to bring your children's right to make your generation so okay. You, and you find that as lack of choice? It is because you know what? Like right now, as you know, be, I'm, I keep on telling people, okay, our society is changing a lot. Okay, mm. communities are changing a lot. Tradition are changing. Mm. Culture are changing. Values, the values, values changing. Is true. You understand? Right. So, for her, she grew up in the western part of the world. That but I equality yeah. matters. Mm. You understand? Mm -hmm. We grow up in the places where man have to make the decision. Now we are fighting our way through. Mm -hmm. Also saying we also can do it. Mm. You understand? Because and we have better I, ideas. I we have better ideas. No, and that's it's, it's not like it's not true. It's true. Every day when people start talking about this issue, I tell them, listen, go back to the Garden of Eden. This is where it started from. Women became smart before you people. Mm -hmm. Okay? We, we look at you and go like, ah, my husband, he needs to be smart enough. Then give me some of the food. Then you two became smart. So, right there, we started sharing. So why can't you start sharing your ideas for us to live and balance the life? Because if you say you are the man, so you only can do it, at the end of the day, when we leave it to you, you're still going to come back. For example, okay, um, business-wise, mm -hmm. man and a woman, usually men want to control the business. Mm -hmm. You have been trying it all this while. It's not working. Mm -hmm. Okay? We haven't seen no profit, no nothing. We haven't grown. Mm -hmm. Okay? Women have more balanced ability of, you know, controlling businesses. But because from the beginning we were not given the chance of doing it. So it's hard for our men to trust us on certain things. So why don't you for once give the woman the chance to try the business and control the business at least and see what will, where it will go for I once. Think, I think it stems from what you even said, Sister G, in terms of that communication factor. Mm. That's it. Right? Yeah, and that type of relationship that that person has with one another. Because, mm. of course, like you said, my situation would be like totally different from the viewer's yeah, situation, yeah, true. from yeah. Silver's uh, yeah. situation, yeah. from yours, from Jones. Right? right? No, because we women, we see far than men. Mm. Okay? When it comes to, like, you know, even as planning, mm. you understand? Mm. You can sit here and plan what will happen in the next three years. Man will take it as the day comes by. Mm, I think <laughs> oh, you still have to be careful yeah, in terms of how you generalize. Yeah, 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 yeah. You have to be careful. Yeah, yeah, we're gonna take a short break. Well, we'll come back. We're gonna wrap this up because trust me, this is a very controversial topic, and we don't know where, where, how it really is because I think it depends on the situation. The situation. Every situation right. is yes. different. Right. Yeah. So please don't go anywhere. We will be right back. Welcome back. We've been discussing gender role and we have Sister G from FM Unity. Yes. Yeah, to discuss this issue with us. She is very vocal as to the role of a man. And I the just role have of to let it out. Sorry. Exactly. <laughs> as you can hear, she's very vocal about this topic and we love having you. But ladies, let's wrap this up because this is a topic that we will be here all day. Mm -hmm. And we have another segment of this same topic that we're going to talk about, right? Mm -hmm. So, but this, do you think? Women are ready. You start. Yeah, I think are we ready yeah. for this change. Or, or I think the change is. Yeah, I think the change is already it's like. Already here. Yeah, because it's, as yeah. I said, it's a generational thing. If Absolutely. I grew up feeling that it wasn't, I, it wasn't fair, yeah. but now it's normal uh, because my husband is okay with gender equality right. and my kids are being taught that what a boy can do a you as a girl can do in fact right. make sure you you know <laughs> top the boy <laughs> in one sentence please no. things are changing so much we grow up in a place man have to go play soccer woman have to stay in the kitchen now it's shifted mm -hmm. it's gone mm -hmm. okay as she said, you can do it, I can do it. Absolutely. We need to communicate and balance our life. Mm -hmm. Yes. And make it work for me mm. and make it work for oh, you. Oh, oh, mm. oh. That's it. Mm. Oh my goodness, Angelica. I'm in total agreement with everyone here on the panel, right? <laughs> I believe that women were ready for mm. these um, gender Changes. roles. Also, men too, slowly but surely. Mm. It, was, it happened like a long time ago, right? Mm. So again, it's just with the shift with society. Mm and um, just embracing and celebrating that. You have to come to grips with the, the changes. Absolutely. For me, my, my take on this is, 
I, I don't know if I'm ready for the change yet or if, if I've fully accepted it. I am still that woman who believes a man has his role and he should stick to it. A woman has her role and she should stick to it. I am embracing the change. I see the change is all around me mm -hmm. and I am going to do that change. But I think it's a baby step. And the change is faster on the Western world, unlike African, uh, like in Africa, where it's a baby step. And when these changes come like fast, it's, it's it's going to be scary. It's not going to be easily embraced. So it's only embraced here fully. But African is also changing there. So what you ask, we've come to the end of this particular segment, but we're going to mention now in terms of gender role in the media industry or in the entertainment industry. Mm. So we have a guest that we're going to be welcoming that will continue this conversation from here and we'll be welcoming her shortly. Don't go anywhere. We will be right back with our guests. Hello viewers, welcome back to the second segment of this episode. We have sitting with us Cielo. Cielo, could you please introduce yourself to my viewers? Hi, I'm Ciela Morena. I'm a singer from Australia and I have a Latin background and here I am in Toronto. <laughs> well, Beautiful. Um, How long have you been in Toronto? Just a year and a half. Oh, you're pretty new. I am. Oh, wow. Welcome to Toronto. How's Toronto been treating you? I really love Toronto. It's received me so well. It's, there's been a lot of opportunities so far already, so I can't wait to see what happens. And career-wise, Toronto is Career-wise, yeah. So uh, I was in the singing contest last year, which was a little televised series. Um, I'm recording my EP, working with some Toronto producers. Lots happening. Mm. Uh, and I was just doing some extra work on a set uh, by a Ben Affleck and Matt Damon TV series uh, hmm. a few days ago. So Nice. You're it's going good. places. How is Toronto different from Australia? Actually, it's very similar. Um, it's very multicultural. So there's a lot of Italian, Greek culture. Um, not as much Hispanic and, mm. and things like that. But yeah, it's very uh, similar, except a lot colder, of course. Mm -hmm. You have to go down to um, Ozington and Christie or Bloor area. Yeah, there are a lot of uh, Australians yeah. there. But oh. is she Latino? Are you Latino? Well, my father's Spanish, so that's not Latin, as people believe. But then mm. my mom's Chilean, so that is Latin. So then what are you... You are Latin. So I identify then. myself as Latin, I identify myself as Australian, I identify myself as the world. Now you identify yeah. yourself as Canadian. So and and right. I was about yeah. to say so yes, Canadian. You, I don't know if you were listening to the previous episode that we were discussing, we were discussing gender role and again, this is not, your topic is slightly different, mm -hmm. but could you speak about your music career in that regard, in terms of um, musicians male musicians and female musicians how difficult it is being a musician as a female i think um the industry that i'm sort of involved in like i love hip-hop mm. i'm not necessarily a rapper or a hip-hop artist but i do vocals for maybe some hip-hop music the urban culture and scene is one that does generally objectify women quite a lot mm. so in that respect <coughs> Uh, I think Nicki Minaj was saying in one of her interviews, and I agree with you, you have to be a beast for people to respect you. So I think as a woman, you have to work twice as hard to get that, that respect that guys get, right? Okay. There's a lot so, of... Um, what sacrifices have you had to make to push your dreams? Everything. I mean, I'm here in Toronto by myself. I came with a suitcase and, wow. and some dreams. So I've left mm. my country, I've left your, everything your I knew, my life, my parents, family. my friends, my support network. You know, I've started a whole new life by myself. So, um, yeah, like, I, you have oh, to sacrifice your soul, yeah, you have to sacrifice passion. everything yeah. and do wow. everything you mm. can to get there. I was talking to you backstage and I was saying that Cielo um, is... I won't say complaining, but she has made mention of the fact that she's still struggling and she's been singing since you were 12 mm, right. and she's still struggling. So my question to you is, why do you think the struggle is there? Why is it hard for you to be recognized by now or be where you want to be? What do you think you're not doing? Or is it that you're doing too many things? Mm. It's a little bit of everything. I think that um, in Australia, I did what I could. So I, I achieved quite a lot, but the industry isn't as, uh, there's not as much opportunity in my country. So I've only been here a year and a half. So I think that 
there's a lot more happening already here. Mm. Mm. I think um, country is one of them, mm. definitely. Mm. And also market. Um, my market, like you said, doing too much is kind of, I sing Latin music, so in Australia there's not as much Hispanic mm. culture enough to, to you know, push you it. to that level of mm. success. Mm. So, um, you know, just mm. a lot of things, demographics. Right. Yeah. right. Cielo, um, if I can ask you this question, how has the industry evolved since you started when you were young today? To when today. I started, I was recording with a $5 microphone, a computer with dial-up internet. It would, like, if someone rang the house, it would get disconnected, <laughs> you know, and, like, it would take 70 years to download a picture. So, I mean, technology is basically Most the definitely. main key factor. Mm -hmm. right. Technology has evolved so rapidly over the last 10 to 15 mm -hmm. years that it's possible to have a lot uh, high-quality things for cheap. You know, you have good cameras good production, and all these different apps, all these like different that. Uh, resources now, right. so from I, back then. I, I had a guest on the show before, he's an artist just like you and he's a struggling artist as too. well. And what he said is that most of his songs, they will release this song and they will upload it on, mm. internet. on internet. Yeah. yeah. So Do the question I that? asked him was, is the internet hurting the industry, the music industry, or is it actually exposing you guys to wider audience? I think a little bit of both. Mm -hmm. I think the industry isn't hurting, sorry, the internet isn't hurting the industry. I think it's hurting the big corporations. Mm -hmm. um, but it's Because made, of the streaming? Because, yeah, like as a big artist, if you release music, it's yeah. a lot more possible to, to download it illegally right. and distribute it for free. As opposed to paying for it. As mm -hmm. opposed to paying mm -hmm. for it. So um, in that respect, yes, it's hurting those kind of mm -hmm. uh, organizations, regard, yeah. but it's also yeah. making it possible for people um, like you. To get known, like myself, to, get to put your stuff out right. there. So you, you yeah. actually put a lot of stuff out there, like on the internet, like sure. YouTube and all that. And yeah, I do, I do have stuff uh, out there. I'm working on an album, so I've taken a lot of it down now because I'm, I'm on another level of professional, but mm -hmm. I have some things online. Mm -hmm. oh, okay. Got a few, uh, so, bit of music on iTunes. Nice. Right. Mm -hmm. So for me, I still do think that when artists say that they're struggling, it's not new, it's every industry. Mm -hmm. You could be oh, yeah. singing, and dancing. Acting, mm -hmm. just whatever industry it is, just some people get discovered faster, very than fast, yeah. and sometimes and it's some, not their time. Exactly, yeah. like it's it's going to happen. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah. I was yeah. going to mention that before, and I forgot. Um, mm -hmm. Also, I think that it hasn't happened for me because at the time I wasn't ready, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. I was going through a lot of my own personal mm -hmm. battles. And I'm ready now. I feel mm -hmm. clear. Mm -hmm. I feel fresh. I'm I'm ready to go. So, and if you are ready, I was talking to you over the phone, and I was asking you, how do you feel about collaborating with African artists? Bring it is on. It's the first thing that I mm -hmm. ask, and this show is air in Africa, and we have a lot of African artists who are probably watching you and say, oh wow, that's a beautiful girl, and she sounds <laughs> good, right? Mm -hmm. So, and they want to work with you. Are you willing? Are you absolutely? I'm mm -hmm. all about world uh, sounds and just different aspects of music so and i mean some uh cultures of latin have got african influence in it anyway. Absolutely. so like yes. salsa, the beats the, the beats, beats yeah. the rhythms yeah, yeah. 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 so yeah. it would yeah. work perfectly well comes from right. mm -hmm. well so, you know, we're gonna take a short break when we we'll come back we're gonna continue having this conversation please don't go anywhere Welcome back. Before we went on break, we've been talking to Cielo. Cielo is a musician. <laughs> and guess what? I'm only just talking about music. I, I read your bow and you're doing a lot. Talk a little bit about the other things that you're doing and why you're doing all those, all those things. Can't you just focus on music and the, get the best out of music? Or are you just looking for an alternative if this doesn't work? Um, definitely no plan B. This will work. <laughs> and, I like uh, that spirit. Yeah, I good. love that spirit, yes. If you're referring to other things other than the entertainment industry, maybe kickboxing. Mm -hmm. Nice. Mm -hmm. I, just, I just love to kick some ass. I got anger issues <laughs> and I did Muay Thai and some martial arts for about six years and otherwise I'll be beating up people down the street. <laughs> they it helps give you that me stay sane. <laughs> It's <laughs> good though. Yeah. Right. So what moment in your musical career have you found the greatest inspiration? Acknowledgement from people uh, in the industry that are successful. I uh, don't need to drop names, but you know, just getting acknowledged from people I follow. Um, 
touching people's lives, of course. Like when I get fan mail or people writing like, oh, I was going through this and I like your song. That is one of the most um, satisfying things you can possibly, Absolutely. possibly feel. And that's so, yeah, go ahead. It's okay. yeah. And that's what I was going to ask you, because like I know for me, I'm such a musical learner. I could like listen to a song maybe that was released maybe five, ten years ago, and it evokes a particular type of emotion. Mm, right. So in terms of your your um, your your fans writing to you and saying, "Hey, I was going through this at a certain time," you know, like so, what does your music bring? Like, um, do you, is it when you create your songs? Is it based off of your own experiences? It's something that happened to you, something that's going on in the world, and oh, what kind of emotion? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Right. Uh, I'm a songwriter, so I basically write most of my lyrics, and yeah, definitely always reflecting. Um, I might generalize the term of it, but mm -hmm. it's definitely inspired by real events. Mm -hmm. mm. Nice. Real event that happens in your life or in other people? Real experiences mainly in my own. Mm -hmm. I feel like I still need a lot of, uh, I need to get out a lot of material that I need to express, but I definitely would, would uh, be moved by other stories and mm -hmm. write about it too. So what is Cielo up to right now? What are you doing? An EP. What is that? I will tell you just the name for now. It's called Virus. Nice. So if you hashtag Cielo Virus, you will get infected by this virus ah. next year. And uh, there is no cure, so you better run. Uh -oh. Its target is worldwide domination, but it begins in Canada, yes. Oh, nice. With the uh, nice. Toronto producers. Wow, nice. that's nice. G-Vine and Thomas L Music. Very, very interesting. You, you are very, you are a very interesting person. Thank Talking you. Talking to you on camera and off camera, very interesting. And Thank I can you. tell you are going to go places. Yeah. Woo! You to, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you seem to know exactly what you're doing, what you want to do, and when you want to do it. <laughs> that's, that's a song good. right there. Yes. I know what I want to do, do, when, when I want to do, do it, and, and how I'm going to do it. it. Hey, hey, we could be backup vocals. Oh, yeah. Just, oh, yeah, for sure. Credit me for that. I wrote that. I'm written and inspired by Charlie. <laughs> Make sure you don't forget me. How can we find Cielo? Okay, they're going to write it on the bottom of the screen, they told me. So jump on to www.cielomorena.com slash music. Otherwise, uh, you can directly contact me at music at cielomorena.com or stalk me on Twitter uh, at CM of, of C Morena Official. Twitter just didn't let me have the extra letters, so I had to do some crappy Interesting, names. interesting. <laughs> Is there any final thing that you want to say to my viewer that we didn't touch, that is an opportunity for you to showcase yourself a bit? No, more about you guys. Pack your suitcase, leave everything behind, follow your dreams and never give up. Right. Oh, I love Lovely. that. Yeah. I love that. What an inspirational word from Cielo. Thank you so much for tuning in to this week's episode. I hope you enjoy this spice that Cielo had to bring. <laughs> and spice. please follow her. Follow her on your Twitter all you just stuff. mentioned yep. and all her <laughs> social media. And please support her music. We have to support new artists, uh, upcoming yeah, artists. True. They need to be supported. And I was going to ask you why you're not over in the United States because I'm thinking that's where that's you belong. Yeah. But guess what? You can still be here mm -hmm. and do it and yeah. make it you work. You know what? Yeah. I, I think that uh, America is the, the monopoly or the capital of, of entertainment, but mm -hmm. there is a movement happening in Toronto. Mm -hmm. and I Absolutely. Think it's definitely Absolutely. Yes. Yes. Like, yes. You know, the OVO sounds and everything of today, it's, it's not just America now. Toronto totally has got their own. Mm -hmm. so yeah, we're yeah. 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 Right. It's our time. Just so thank you so together. much for tuning in and thank you. This is we've come to the end of this series. This series, this is the final episode for this series. We hope to see you again on season four, right? Of wow. our next season, season four. So thank you for following us. Thank you for continuing following things that we do, what we do and when we do them and You've been watching and we appreciate that and we appreciate your support. Continue to follow us on our Twitter, on Instagram and Facebook and even our website is out right now. So you can check us out on our website as well. We enjoy YouTube having too. you and please stay tuned for the next series. Bye. Bye. <laughs>